report themes in Power BI is one of the more useful tools available to you as a developer. And in this video, we'll take some time to go over some of the features and how you can use it to make your development life with Power BI much, much easier. If you wanted to change the general color, this is just what's here by default. We'll go to view and under here we see themes. You can click any of these and right away we can see that it's changing the colors. And if we were to go to our data colors, we can see it changes here as well. So that's all fine and good. I mean, that's pretty straightforward like many Microsoft tools. But one thing that you can do uh, that we'll start with here is actually to customize the current theme. If we go here to view, and down to customize current theme, we have this one selected. Here we can see every specific thing about this theme. So we see, here's the name of the theme, different levels. I mean, you can customize everything down to very specific things. Let's say, for example, we want the font family instead to be, I don't know, um, we'll do Arial Black, and we'll crank this up to 14 and change the font color, just to make it obvious apply this. Now, right away, we see some of these changes. These are the values and titles. This isn't a font color. So let's say we were to add a text box, right? By default, it's using that color. We've made this change. That's great, right? What do we do with this? If we were to exit out and not save anything, we lose those changes. And what we can do is we can say, save current theme. And when we save this, it opens up the window and it's trying to save it as a JSON file. Behind the scenes, what's happening is Power BI saves all of these themes as a JSON file. So let's just save it as theme.json, keep it simple, and go ahead and save that. I'm actually gonna open this file so we can look at it. And here is the actual file that this theme is reading. And here we have the different data colors. If we were to look at something we have here, let's look at data colors. Here we see the theme colors, 499195. I bet we see that in here and it's right here. So we can start to see these defaults, 00A, and that's what's happening here. It's giving us these values and, and breaking it down for us. Here we have that change to the text classes. Labels are Arial Black, and this is it. Now that we have this locally, what we can do is actually change this however we want. Change this to 54, you know, something really big. So we, we should see the size of the labels really change. And labels in this case are gonna be the labels of all these things here. Right now, we don't see that change. It's not instantaneous, but what we'll do is select browse for themes. We see this one here. And if we just open it again, we can see now this is really big because it's inheriting the changes that we made and using it. You can very quickly change the theme by just selecting some of these other ones that are here. We select that other one. It takes us right back to the font sizes and kind of basic look. That JSON feature now is how we can really customize this. And you can see how this could become really useful if you want to edit your theme to always have certain brand colors or certain fonts. Anytime you add a new visual, it'll automatically use those brand colors. So you don't have to go in and customize every single thing to make sure it matches. Right away, it's going to match because that's what the theme is set to. Before this, we edited a custom theme, it saved it for us, and then we altered it. Let's try now to put a basic custom theme from scratch and, and see how we can import it. Here I am on the report themes and Power BI document page. And what I'm gonna do is just copy this example here to show you how you can import your own report theme as a JSON file. So this one, the theme is St. Patrick's Day. It changes just a couple different items here, name, data colors, stuff like that. And in our case, because it's changing data colors, this will impact our chart. What I'm going to do is copy this, and now let's paste this in here as a new file. And what I'll do, it's in my Power BI folder, so this is where it's going to look. And we'll call this St. Patty's theme.json. We need to make sure we save it as a JSON and it will read it this way. Again, imagine instead of St. Patrick's Day colors, you put your company branding colors and maybe certain fonts, whatever you need. We're back in Power BI, drop down, browse for themes, St. Patty's theme, open, and boom, there we go. St. Patrick's Day themes colors, only what about six, seven months away from the time of this recording. 
One other thing to point out, you'll notice the font looks like the default. When it comes to these changes, anything that you don't explicitly change is going to take the default value. In this case, we didn't change the label font size like we did in the other one. So it just inherits the default. And I mentioned before, there's a ton of documentation on these settings. And if we open this link, this is a little further down on the page. It's going to give you every different type of thing that you could change. So you can get really specific on how you want to edit your report theme again to match exactly what you want it to be for you, for your teammates to give the presentation that you want. The last thing I want to show is the custom report theme files that you can use right away. These are ones that are publicly available that other people have uploaded that are pretty cool and you can add them to your own Power BI projects if you want. Let's go to this themes gallery here. I actually already have it open in this link. And when you come in here, you can see there's a bunch of these already here. There maybe something sticks out to you. Let's just grab this guy here, click view report, and it'll give you an example. It's pretty cool. These people have taken the time to add all of these very specific custom settings. What we can do is go down and download and I will we'll open it. And here you can see just how specific. So these people really, really dug into the documentation and added all of these specific settings. Now let's save Power BI. We'll just keep this name, it's .json, save. And we'll go through the same process here. Let's go down to browse for themes. And there it is right away, changed it to exactly what that was. In this case, it's maybe not the best because it kind of grays everything out, but hopefully you get the idea. And you should be able to actually get to that same themes gallery from right here. And it'll take you right to that if you wanted to shortcut your way to that. If you wanted to make your own and upload it for others to use, you could do the same thing here. Submit a report theme. Maybe you're somebody who's really creative and you can provide that for other people to use. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.